rebar placement in a concrete beam. This is a typical design item in structural engineering and also a typical PE problem. So in this video, I'll go over a PE example problem on this topic. Let's go. Our problem states that a non-pre-stressed 8-inch wide beam is to be designed using number six longitudinal rebars and number three stirrups. The beam will not be exposed to weather or in contact with ground. The maximum coarse aggregate size is three quarters of an inch. So the maximum number of rebars allowed in a single layer is most nearly. So let's draw our beam here. And the only information we have is first, the beam width, which is eight inches. And then we have to find out what the clear cover is, and then also the diameter of the stirrups, the ST, and the di diameter of the longitudinal rebar. There is a minimum clear spacing, and we just wanna make sure that however many rebars we place are not too many that we would exceed the minimum spacing. From ACI 318.14, and in this section here, we know that the clear spacing shall be at least the, the maximum of these three items. One inch diameter of the rebar and four thirds the nominal diameter of the aggregate. So if we translate that into a formula, I'm saying that S clear minimum is the maximum of either one inch, the rebar diameter, which a number six rebar is three quarters of an inch, or four thirds the maximum coarse aggregate size, not nominal, the maximum coarse aggregate size, which is also one inch. So the minimum clear spacing between rebars is one inch. If we just try to place two rebars here, we can easily calculate what that clear spacing is using only two rebars, which would be eight inches minus twice this dimension here from the edge of the beam all the way to the inside edge of the rebar, which is the clear cover, the diameter of the stirrup and the diameter of the rebar. For the clear cover, the problem states that the beam will not be exposed to weather or in contact with ground, which makes this problem just a little bit harder in the sense that the clear cover is not given right away. To find out what the clear cover is, we go to this table in ACI 318.14, and we can see here that for rebars, they are not exposed to weather or in contact with ground and used for beams as the primary reinforcement or stirrups, the clear cover is one and a half inches. And we are using number six rebars and number three stirrups. So this would be our clear cover. So if we plug that clear cover in here, as well as the rebar diameter, which is three quarters of an inch, and the stirrup diameter, which is three eighths of an inch, we get the clear space as two and three quarters. So we are well beyond the minimum spacing. So we can add another rebar and try this one more time. So if we have three rebars now, our formula changes slightly just because now we have to be subtracting three diameters of the rebars instead of only two as in the previous formula. So I split this formula up here to get the dimension between the inside face of the stirrup to the inside face of the other stirrup and then minus the three diameters because we were using three rebars and divide all of that by two because there are two spaces here and we get that spacing as one inch, which is the exact minimum clear spacing between rebars. So we know that the answer for our problem will be letter B, which is three rebars. Now, let's say if we were just trying to see if four rebars would work, say if this beam was wider, how would our formula change? I'm still looking for the distance between the inside face of the stirrup to the inside face of the stirrup on the other side of the beam. And that's this numerator number here, uh, which the only difference is that at the end of my formula, I changed the number of bars to four. 
and then I take that dimension, I see how many spaces are in here. There are three spaces, so I divide by three, and I got 0 0.42 inches. Now, if you just want to write down a formula for these types of problems, uh, so that you can easily solve a rebar placement problem during the exam, you can take this general formula, which states that the clear spacing between rebars is the beam width minus two times the beam clear cover, the side clear cover, minus two times the diameter of the stirrups, minus the number of rebars, which is this four here in, in, for four bars, or three for three bars, times the diameter of the rebar, and then the denominator will be the number of rebars minus one, which is essentially what we did. For four rebars, we used three, for three rebars, we used two. For two rebars, we used one, essentially, for the denominator. So this is a handy formula that you can use for the exam or in a template that you're building. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. And if you'd want me to perhaps make a video building a template in Excel or MathCAD for rebar placement in a concrete beam. Also, let me know if there are other videos you'd like to see in this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.